and sit down, be as comfortable as possible. I prefer to stand. Will you tell me the truth about something? I don't believe in truths. Well, will you promise not to lie to me? I don't believe in making promises. They're self-defeating. Well, will you try not to lie to me? If it doesn't mean telling the truth. Has Anna been seeing Ward? You know the answer to that. I mean, has she been seeing him seeing him? Oh, seeing him seeing him. You mean if she had coitus with him? Yes. Ward says they have. Is she in love with him? Oh, Jesus Stevens. How should I know? Well, does he love her? Worships himself. I said her. Great fondness for his pectorals and triceps. Beyond that, we get into murky waters. That's how much he pretty much loves himself, or is capable of loving anyone. I knew this would happen, and I've been wondering what I'd do. Now it's happened. I don't know what to do. You think I'm very weak, don't you? Perhaps I am. Listen, Stevens, you're lucky. You're normal. Aren't you? No, I'm insane. Well, is there any chance that they haven't slept together? Philosophically st speaking, Stevens, if I drop this pen, it may arise. Was there any chance that they haven't? Just tell me! No. This afternoon? No, last night, while you were getting ice cream for everybody. So you knew. You hate me, don't you? No. But you, you dislike me. No. Would you anything me? Yes. What? I don't like you, and I find you boring. Because you think I'm weak. Weak in a sense of great strength, Stevens. But essentially, because you're normal. Well, what should everyone do? Be insane as you put it? Only if I could be sure of being sane. That's not the point of this discussion, is it? What's the point of this discussion? The point of this discussion is what it is you're going to do. I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? Mm, kill yourself? Do you really think so? What I really think is that it doesn't matter what you do. To me, it does. You got me there. And maybe to honor, it would matter. I wouldn't bet on it. But even if it did matter to her, I wouldn't be here to enjoy it, would I? Life is full of little drawbacks. What else would you suggest I do besides killing myself? Kill Honor? Then she wouldn't be here, and I would. How about killing Ward? If I killed him, I would lose my purpose by losing my own life. There's always a chance so that you'd punish honor for the rest of hers. But I love her. That's what I mean, Stevens. That's pre relatively precisely what I mean. I don't follow you. You're following me. No. If you kill Ward and you don't kill yourself, you lose her. Sure, you'll feel bad, but that's all. I mean, for all you know, killing Ward might act as some miraculous exorcism. You might actually cleanse yourself of your own worthlessness that you'll save the world. With who? With what? Well, I'd like to ask you a question about female relationships. One question about female relationships. Do you have a mother? Well, answer the question. Do you have a mother? As a matter of fact, I did. Did? Oh, did. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's a long time ago. Did you love her very much? How do you measure something like that, Stevens? I don't know. Say in a forced choice basis. A whole lot, a lot, not very. Oh, Christ, Stevens. Well, I'm just trying to determine what type of relationship you had with her. I mean, I assume she was. Well, did you ever have coitus with her? No! Were you close to each other? No. I was close to my father. I used to side with him every time against her. Why? Because he scared me and she didn't. I loved her, but I admired the man. Well, that's a very interesting distinction between loving and admiring. Why did you love her, but only admire him? Not only, Stevens. Not only. When I say I admired the man, I mean I really admired him. Okay, why? Because he could resist feeling for other people. And so, to protect yourself from a 
hostile environment, you emulate your father. Do you think that's healthy? Don't try to switch roles with me, Stevens. A guy like you trying to be forthright and got a chance. Because I'm weak. Weak in the sense of great strength, Stevens, but essentially because you're boring. And I suppose killing the ward would make me honest and interesting and strong in the sense of great weakness. Is that right, Leeds? I don't know, but who cares, Stevens? I do. God damn it, what is the point in all of this? To make honor not do this again. That's the point in all of this? That's the point to me. And I bet you think that makes a whole hell of a lot of sense, don't you? Yes, I do. Why should I try to do what seems sensible? Why, Stevens? Because hardly anybody else does. You're in lousy company, that's why. Don't you know that 52 out of 60 people get crucified? I do. The meek, Stevens, the meek. Don't you read? All right, but let's carry that to its more positive extension. What happens to those other eight people? Those other eight people... Those other eight people, Stevens, disguise themselves as eggplants and make little kids throw up at the dinner table. Are you insane, so therefore sensible? I am meticulously insensible to the point of being fastidiously and compulsively sensible, therefore insane. <laughs> oh, I'm beginning to see. I almost hope you're not. Why not? Because I'm afraid I want you to so much. Uh, listen, Stevens, you wouldn't be interested in a little plan I've got scared a shit out of art, would you? Do you know what I know, John? Leeds. Nothing. I don't know anything, except that I love my wife and I don't want to lose her. You could always look back, Stevens, and remember you've got 12 scholarships. John, stop it. Leeds. Stop it! I don't want to lose her! If you ever had her, Stevens, you've lost her. Is that true about that? Yes! Yes. <sighs> then I've got to try to meet this thing as honestly as I can. <laughs> 